We don't have a realistic assessment of our skills and who we are. So this book is going to ground you in that realistic attitude towards your work and your career, towards the people you're dealing with, and towards yourself. I've been writing books now for 26 years. Is that right? 25, 26. Wow, well, that's gone back quickly. And I've kind of in that time, I've learned an incredible amount, both through my research, through my consulting work, through my work as on the board of directors of a publicly traded company. And all of that material that I've learned has gone into my books that I've kind of gleaned from all of this experience, and all of this writing, certain really very important lessons to me. I'd say two lessons I think that are critical. One is, it's your attitude towards life, towards people, that's going to determine your level of success. Not necessarily your knowledge or the information that you have or your technical skill, but your attitude towards people and towards the world. And the attitude that I found that I've been able to craft that came through a lot of hardship and pain and mistakes is a supremely a radical, realistic outlook on life. Seeing people for who they are not through your own cloud of emotions, seeing events as they are, not how you project onto them what you want to see. And then the second thing that I learned is the importance of daily action. I'm an extremely disciplined person. It's probably to a fault where I have to work every single day. And I've learned that my habits are more important than moments of great inspiration or incredible creativity. Even when I'm depressed or I'm bored or I'm totally uninspired, I still do the work. And then for 11 years now, it's been 11 years almost exactly, I've been meditating every single morning. And that habit, that morning ritual is extremely important to me because it grounds me, prepares me for the day ahead. So these two lessons that I've learned are very much part of the daily laws. So what it is, is every day there's a kind of a meditation for you that's based, that comes from either one of my books or from blog posts or from interviews, etc. And it's going to kind of instruct you in this realistic attitude that I'm, that I'm talking about. I wanted a meditation where every day you are going into the book, you spend the day sort of maybe thinking about that idea or what you read the day before. And slowly, day by day, week by week, month by month, this attitude that I'm talking about, you will internalize, you will ingest it will become part of your own thinking. And as you go through your day and some person in your office is very irritating at your work and you start getting yourself emotional, something will come up through your head of something I've talked about, being able to have, look at people from distance and not getting emotionally entangled. It'll prevent you from getting sucked into their drama and you'll find it'll start having the effect that way. So these two lessons kind of just absorbing you in this idea of having a powerfully realistic attitude towards everything, also towards yourself, because a lot of the illusions that we have, we think that we're really great when we're not really so great and we have to work at it, or we think we're really terrible when we're not really so terrible. We don't have a realistic assessment of our skills and who we are. So this book is going to ground you in that realistic attitude towards your work and your career towards the people you're dealing with, and towards yourself. And, and I think the daily practice element will really help you make this practical. Because this a book, more than anything, that's designed to be very, very practical. This one of the things that I've heard a lot is people will say, you know, Robert, the 48 Laws was really good. I really liked it. But I have a hard time putting it into practice, right? What do you suggest for, for doing that? Well, I'm, this isn't the complete answer to that problem, but it is it is a kind of an attempt at being more practical with the books. Because if you take one of the laws and you take a passage that's very strong that kind of gives you the gist of the idea in that law, and you absorb that and you think about it, it'll start having an effect on you. Whereas in the book itself, if you're reading all the other material, you might be a little bit distracted, or you might find the entertainment value overwhelming you. But in this kind of concentrated format, with the gist of the idea in each of the laws and each of the strategies of war and all of the elements of mastery, they're kind of in a pure form. It's kind of like a straight shot of whiskey or something. And you're drinking it, and it's going to have an effect on you. So I think this is a book that could have a very practical effect on you 
if you if you let it work the way it's supposed to work, which is day by day by day by day.